But with brakes, even if you got to bury the brakes to your ankles, you don't let the glider go clear in front of you. You stop the glider. If it goes behind you, boom, hands up so it doesn't stall. Boom, brakes, hands up, brakes, hands up. But it needs to be a reflex, which is why we do so much hiding on the ground. Now, here's why it's got to be done on the ground. You balance a broomstick on your finger, right? Boop, 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 boop. You can practice this, build the reflexes. Now, let's see you learn how to balance a broomstick on your finger by holding it from the top. Oops, you can. In flight, you're being held from the top. You're hanging under the wing. So how are you going to learn to balance the wing above you when you're being held from the top? Oh, that's why we got to practice it on the ground. Because on the ground, the wing is constantly trying to fall. It does not want to sit up there. It wants to fall this way, fall that way, fall this way. And you are constantly keeping it above you perfectly. Well, if you master that on the ground, once you're in the air, you're going to do the same thing. If you don't get that skill, people will naturally build a reflex of just letting the glider fly itself and they tell it which way to turn. And they have no ability to prevent that collapse. Because sure, we could chuck you in the air with no training, the glider's going to fly itself. And you can tell it which way to turn and that'll work right up to the point where you hit wind shear <laughs> or you go through a rotor or you fly through a wake. If you literally flew around in a circle and went back through your own wake, people have been knocked out of the sky because of that, because they had no skill whatsoever. Where if we build your skill on the ground where you absolutely master control, so if that glider tries to pitch forward, boom, you stop it with brakes, you can literally fly right behind people's props and not take a collapse. You'll see in many of my videos, Trevor and I screwing around, flying behind each other. We just don't even care. We'll literally fly for a rover on purpose and it's just, we don't even give a crap. It's just, you got a dominator, the safest, most stable glider, and you have the skills to keep it open. And while it can collapse, the odds are extremely remote, and, and the odds of it popping back out are, I mean, it's just ridiculous how safe that glider is, which again, is all that experience. So it's all about mastering the ability to balance the glider above you, so that when you're in the air, you have the reflex of doing that naturally. So if the glider swings this way, you're automatically bringing it back above you. Because if you get in the air before you learn that and the glider goes over here, all you're going to do is tell it which way to turn. And you're not going to control the forward, backwards, left, right. It just, the skill won't be there. So it's kind of interesting how the, the training has been perfected from years and years of experience. The, well, Tyler's another good example. The, uh, he had his moron moment and flew right behind a hotel in like 25 mile an hour winds. I think it was earlier this year. It was he'd been flying it was, for a yeah. year and a half already. He'd been flying for quite a while, but we all have our stupid moments. <laughs> I mean, I've done stupid stuff too. The, but he flew right behind a hotel. Well, what do you think happens when you got 25 mile an hour wind going over a hotel? That is insane rotor. The air is spilling over the back of the hotel and literally doing this. He flew right through that strong of a rotor and he went, whoa, 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 and never took a collapse. It just, <laughs> boom. It's like, well, he took collapse. It's like popping, but he's just controlled and popped it right back out. Flew right through it. Piece of cake, no problem. If that was anyone that didn't have that skill, it had just freaking wadded up and pounded him into the ground. It had just been over. But because of the reflexes of all of that, you're doing things you don't even realize you know how to do. It's, it's like your body's reacting to things your brain doesn't even have to tell it. It's very, very cool. So shear and rotor and stuff like that, it's there, but it's insane what we can fly in. I've been through eight gust fronts or more. The, I even got hit in a gust front when I was flying with my son. 30, 35 mile an hour gust front. You know, you're standing there and there's like no wind. Two seconds later, the trees are just <laughs> That's a gust front. Thunderstorm just dumps cold air. When it hits the ground, it goes horizontal, or you call it a micro burst. And that is what a gust front is. I've literally flown right through them and you're just not even taking a collapse. If you search on uh, YouTube, paramotor gust front, I think the first video that comes up 
is me getting hit with a gust run. There is no wind, it is so perfectly calm. I'm doing foot drags in a circle out on Utah Lake, and all of a sudden I felt that front. You can feel it start getting weird and you know it's coming. So I immediately climbed up to altitude and immediately flew out over water just in case I had any issue. I've got water under me and wham, 30, 35 mile an hour winds. And it looks like I'm doing acro, like diving this way, that, but I'm actually trying to fly straight and level, but I didn't take a single collapse. Just wham, trees are going nuts on the ground and your arms are moving, you just keep the glide pressure. Those gliders are insanely stable. It is a paraglider. They are specifically designed to be flown off of a mountain in the middle of the day in 100 degree temperatures in over 25 mile an hour winds. That's what they're made for. You Only just have to have the skills gliders for. are made for that. I have yes. to clarify. Uh, a certified <laughs> glider is made for that. If yes. it's an uncertified glider, you're not going to have the same protection. Not even close. Uh, but anyway, so. It is, I mean, I have over 11,000 flights and I'm the guy doing things nobody else can do and I've never been injured. It's pretty insane. I mean, a one wheel, it's like super fun, but you know, you can face plant pretty fast. Where if you trip and fall down with a flat top, it's like you got your 57 inch roll cage around you. Skids hit, it's like, it's nothing. <laughs> it's, it's so much beyond, it's really hard to comprehend the passive safety to having that wing and that motor put together. Very, very cool. Uh, did that answer the question?